Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Depending on the time in your area when you watch this video. Tom here, everybody. You read that title correctly. A video response for Perry Hoovermill. I saw your video, Perry, and you wanted a video response, and I hope you accept my video response. Good buddy. I want to say, yes, I can strongly relate to having negative people in my life, both online and offline. Only I don't want to talk about people offline because I've learned to keep what I want private, private, okay? Here's what I would like to talk about. A number of things. For starters, Perry, please don't be offended by this. Only I'm trying to be truthful and sometimes truth can hurt and I don't mean it to. It's just the facts. When you first came back online, I was a little jealous. Why? I had recently opened up this new YouTube account as well, and I saw how so many people were welcoming you back, which is great, don't get me wrong, but a lot of those people I knew as well, and yet not everybody was welcoming me back. And I was beginning to feel a little jealous and wondering why. I found out it has to do with the fact that I spoke with these negative people. This is why I want to say to you and to anybody who's listening who has negative people in their lives, and especially online, and it goes for offline as well, I'm learning to slowly ignore these negative people for several reasons. For starters, my own comfort zone, um, because these negative people, they told me that I was not smart enough to draw cartoons. I had to get away from YouTube for a while, take a break, I returned to making my own cartoons, and I learned they were wrong about me. And they were wrong about me on several facts. But that's just it about these negative people. They never take the time to get to know you. They like judge you in the first five minutes of meeting you and assume they're right. Now I realize they're wrong about me and yeah, I can draw cartoons. And I just want to say that I realize I was wrong for speaking to these negative people. Now. Before, it was just my way of showing them I wasn't backing down. Only I realized that made things worse. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, and, again, like these negative people, they see my videos. And they also make fun of me. They uh, make mock videos. I showed them to my friends because I felt that it was wrong and wanted the videos to get suspended. However, I realized what I was doing was wrong. Some people felt sorry for me. I really don't want people's pity. And other friends, it just made them mad. And I don't want to make my friends mad. I was just, you know, it was like to me, has the whole world gone crazy in that sense? Can you relate to that? And so now I've learned to ignore them. And there will always be people like that, and you just gotta learn to ignore them. Just keep doing what you wanna do and have fun at it. Like my dad tells me, if I want to make YouTube videos, I gotta stand up and be accounted for, them, and that's why I'm here. My dad also says, don't think can, think can, and the more you can do, you discover, there's more you can do. And I want to say to long-time friends out there, 
I hate mentioning names. I really do because I know some of you feel uncomfortable about it. And I apologize right away, but I kind of mention names. So this way, other people don't get confused, okay? Can you understand that? Shane, Sean, Ethan, Patrick, and Perry. I've known you guys since the beginning. And Ginger. And Ginger. I've known you all since the beginning. Some of you have come back and supported me. You subbed to my new channel and sent friend invites. I admit that. But not all of you have. And not all of you are responding to my comments either. I want to say I'm sorry about for the mess that I've caused. Again, I mean, I'm learning very slowly to ignore these negative people. And I just want to, you know, keep in touch with you guys. Keep in touch with my friends, my good buddies. And I would really like to hear from you in my videos. You know, make comments down below and stuff. And don't be afraid to make comments. I know some of you are afraid of being targeted. But you can always block the person. You can always ignore the person. And that's what I'm doing. I just don't want these negative people to break up our friendship. Because when I first came online, we were such a tight group. And it still feels like that to me in many ways. I'd like that to remain. And like I say, I can't control who my haters target. I'd really like it if they wouldn't target any of my friends, seriously. But at the same time, I'm ignoring them. The same way I'm ignoring any of the imposters. There are imposters online who consider themselves fans, and I know the difference between a fan and an imposter, but at the same time, please understand, I just want to make a go with this channel, because when the archive was closed, I felt such a relief. I There were so many problems from that one channel alone. And, I mean, I hate to bring that up, it's just stuff on my mind, and... Then all of a sudden I see all those videos back online. Yet these people don't ask me for my permission. Even if they did, I wouldn't give it to them. Because after all the problems I've had, I wouldn't wish that on my best friend. And with the archive, all it was was simply a way to save my videos. Like a video vault. Because I lost so many when I had the blue screen of death. And then, I don't know, it just got out of hand. That's all I can say. But I've always enjoyed making YouTube videos, and I'm going to continue. I hope to hear from all my good buddies out there. I hope I have not hurt anybody's feelings. And I want to say for the record, I'm no longer jealous because really it was all my fault, Perry. And I realized that, but I learned from my mistakes, and I just want to start off fresh with a clean slate, and, you know, I think I'm like you, Perry, you know, I want to live in a world without being judged or criticized, and I want to live in a world without any drama. And that's all I really wanted to say. So please check out my new channel if you catch my drift bud. Shameless plug. Sorry about that, Perry. And I hope all is okay in your neck of the woods. Remember when you used to say that? And um, I guess that's about it. And, um, thanks for listening and watching. Over now from your good buddy Tom, everybody.